Hey what's up guys, Jessica Zoe here and welcome to episode 5 of Fatal Team of the Season. Yes guys, in today's episode we are going to be playing the final two games before we head on into the knockout rounds. And uh, as you all know, we still have to upgrade two of our players. So uh, that's the main thing in this episode. Um, before that though, we're going to be showing you guys which two players from the previous episode we're going to be adding to this side. And uh, in case you missed out that video, link will be in the description and also in the top right hand corner. I know I forgot to add um, everything in the previous episode, that's because I had to upload the video a couple times on private though. So you guys would have been able to see it. But um, I think like the first time I uploaded a video, something was wrong with it and I also added like all the links and everything. So um, yeah, I forgot to do it when I, uh, when I put the video live. Um, a few days ago, but um, anyway, uh, there should be links right now for you guys to uh, to click on. So um, yeah, again, if you missed out that video, check it out um, before you uh, watch this episode, of course. But anyway, let's move on. Um, in the previous episode, we collected I think 380k, and the pairs you can see them right now on the screen. They were uh, Team of the Season and Don Bele. We had uh, Flashback Casillas, uh, Team of the Season Ederson, and Third Birthday Walker. Now, most of you said that Kersilias is bad. He's quite shit because he's like not the tallest goalkeeper. And like I've actually said, I've actually been using him for quite some time. Um, you can see 364 games. And um, yeah, to me, like, of course he's not the tallest, but he still has great reflexes and everything. And he just felt like a great goalkeeper to me. That's why I never decided to, uh, to change basically. But as I've said, uh, most of you uh, didn't really like him. That's why most of you actually went with uh, Ederson and Walker. So um, we're going to be adding one more Brazilian. And that means that Militao will be on full cam right now. Yes, he will be, which is great. And then uh, we add the uh, center back version of Kyle Walker. And um, that means that in this episode, uh, there are only two players left, which we can upgrade both uh, Sambia and uh, Ikoko, the silver players uh, from the league, and other ones which are left, and uh, we still need to upgrade. Hopefully we are able to do that, because um, in the last two episodes, I believe we did lose at least one game, so um, yeah, hopefully it doesn't happen, because otherwise we won't be able to get as much coins as we most likely would like to. But um, still, we do have one more play to show to you guys, which is a uh, substitute, and that is going to be the fuck birthday Meunier. Um, it was a tie, actually, between him and Witzel uh, when I checked. And um, yeah, decided to go with Meunier since I already have him in my club. And the thing with Meunier is that he could be a player I would like to have on the midfield. So um, yeah, if that uh, if that's the case at the end of this episode, then we will most likely uh, put him in our starting eleven. If you guys obviously choose him, but that's for uh, for the next episode, I think. But um, anyway, let's uh, let's jump to a game and uh, hopefully do well. Okay, then guys, here we go. The first game of the episode, and we come up against a very nice looking side. Quite a few flashback players there, and also uh, flashback Mares, one player I regret actually not doing. Um, he also has the uh, Fatis Promes, which I recently unlocked, and um, yeah, like I said, overall, quite, quite strong team. All right, then here we go. Let's uh, let's see what we can do against this guy. Nice, good interception. Come on. Nice, the pipe. Oh my god, did I hit Mbappe, I think? Damn it. That was a pretty big chance already. Beautiful. Back to the pipe. Oh, come on. Come on, Di Maria. Oh, no. Why did he... Why did I turn to his uh, right foot? Oh, he's gonna give away a corner, okay. Kind of weird, but I'll take it. Mbappe. Oh, not to him. <clears throat> nice, to Di Maria. Oh, he needs away. He needs away. Pass it off. Oh, what a finish. I legit, before, when I was about to shoot, I was going to say that pass is terrible. But it actually turned out to be really good. And what a strike as well from, uh, from the pie. Alright, half time. I expect that he has a lot of possession. Because he's been playing on possession mostly. You can see as well that he, that he doesn't even have a shot on target or something. Or just a shot in general. Um, we are going to make changes though. We are bringing on Meunier for Sambia. And we are bringing on Tavernier for Ikoko. 
and then uh, leave Mares uh, on the bench for like the 70th minute or something, and then we'll most likely bring him on. Anyway, it's going well. It's going well, apart from maybe like the possession bit. I mean, we've created a ton of chances. No, what the fuck? Oh my god, what is this game? <laughs> when you just press the, the RB button to do a, a dummy, he just jumps over the ball, apparently. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh my god, if I can see that, then I would have been furious. What the hell? That whole sequence was just bullshit. Oh, it was a save from Ederson. Holy shit. Pi. Nice. Ah, oh, damn it. I had to just pass it off. Just had to pass it off. Shoot. Good save. To the left back. Mbappe. Shoot. Oh, what a finish. What a strike. <laughs> That's uh, worth watching the replay. I hope his focus was actually pretty nice as well, but what a shot! Full in the top corner. Come on, win it. Nice. Orlet. Drag back. And shoot. Oh no! Was that Van Dijk? Damn it. Neymar. Yay. Need someone who was able to shoot. Neymar, bike it! Oh, damn it. Maris. Let's find Maris. Still on the ball. <laughs> that was a little bit too much. Offside? That surely is offside, isn't it? No? Okay. Don't score, and he scores. Damn it! Oh my god, man. So unneeded. It's always an extra time as well. Can we get one more back? Nope, Neymar's dead. Damn it, man! And we lose 30k. <laughs> Still a good game, though, but a shame that we um, gave it away uh, in the end there. That stupid goal. So then, guys, here we go. The second game of the episode, and we come up against... Um, Premier League side with some players out of position. His right back and his uh, left back. At first thought maybe we come up against like someone with a full uh, defenders team, but obviously then you need to have uh, lower chemistry than one hundred. But um, yeah, not not the best team again. But I'm gonna underestimate him. If we beat him, then hopefully with a lot of goals because uh, we're currently only on uh, on 30k, which is definitely not enough for uh, the final two players. So hopefully that goes better. Nice play. Oh no, I shouldn't have passed it. I should have just gone through with Di Maria. Nice. Back to Di Maria. Oh my god. Oh, damn it. Ball. Mbappe. Finish it off, Mbappe. Yes, let's go. 1 0. Good start. <laughs> like just after the 10 minute mark as well. <laughs> no, don't score. Good save. Oh, bad pass, Ambia. Please, come on. Come on, Rabio. Pie. Great ball. Come on, the pie. 
Di Maria. Oh, damn it. I think it was Mbappe who, um, who missed it. Oh, maybe now then. Come on. Are you actually serious, Mbappe? Oh my god, man. Come on, Di Maria. What are these shots? They're so weak. They're so weak. Come on, cross it in, Coco. Ah, oh, no way. No way. Oh, he chips it. Oh my god. Go back. Get that. To Mbappe. Neymar go to the right. Back to Mbappe. And goal. Ah, oh, again a four shot. What the hell is that? Oh my god. What the? What is that? Like, what the hell is going on? Di Maria. Yes, finally. Like, <laughs> oh man, this match. Like, some of some of my players are just completely miss hitting the ball. It happened with Icoco a little bit earlier when I tried to pass the ball away. And then Mbappe again. Anyway, we're two 0 up, and it's a goal from Di Maria as well. Which uh, puts us to uh, 80k in this game. We get one more. It's possible, come on. No way! Are you joking me? Are you joking? Oh my god. That's bullshit, man. That's actually bullshit. Come on, Di Maria. No, just make a run then. Come on. They're just standing still. Whilst I'm holding LB. I press LB. I hold LB and I press A. And they just stand still. Like, why? God, I just need one more goal, man. Because I'm not going to get the players I want with the... Uh, with the coins we currently have. I just need a one more goal. I would need a one more goal. I mean, we at least won, but I don't think we can afford the players that I uh, that I want, which is a shame. Right then, guys, so the amount of coins we get to spend um, for the final episode is actually 110k. I really would have liked to get, like, maybe a few more goals in that final game. We had the opportunities, but I just, uh, I just couldn't finish, unfortunately. That means that we still are able to get some decent players in the side because prices have been uh, kind of dropping, uh, which is uh, which is good because um, that means we uh, we are still able to get some decent players in the side. So um, yeah, moving on to the following pairs, um, there will be a player which is uh, the same in both pairs. So just to uh, just to let you know, um, pair one is going to be Paul Pogba and the uh, team of the tournament. I think he wave a Champions League version of um, of Serge Aurier, the 90 rated version. Um, that is pair one, obviously Paul Pogba, five star skills, is tall, but defensive wise, he's not the most ideal, he's, uh, he only has 16, uh, 69 defending, which is not the best, but I've been using him before in more of a defensive role, and I kind of liked him in that position, because he's also tall, and uh, he has a physique, so um, yeah, I mean, I quite like him in that position, so for me, it's not a huge problem. Then pair two, we do have yet again Aurier, but to link him up, we do have also a, a French midfielder who is more defensive minded, and that is N'Golo Kante. So um, it is up to you guys, um, which pair you would like more, a new 5 star skiller on the side or more of a defensive kind of play who obviously is a, a little bit shorter as well than, uh, than Paul Pogba. So um, yeah, make sure to let me know in the comments down below, also in the top right hand corner to vote and uh, also make sure to vote for the final substitute. 
because um, there were some tasty plays in the first team we actually beat. So uh, make sure to check it out um, and uh, yeah, make sure to vote as well. Anyway, guys, that is what we're going to be ending off this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you, of course, did, make sure to leave a like. It would be very much appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already. And also make sure to check out all the other YouTubers. Links can be found in the description down below. Because this weekend, the Knockout Games are going to be, uh, going to be out on everyone's channel. So uh, keep an eye out for that as well. Anyway, that's the end. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.